This one says, it feels like Zelda community is so polarized at this point. It's either Tears of the Kingdom is the best open world game ever made, and Zelda should never go back, or that Breath of the Wild was the death of Zelda. Like, can we not ask for a more open world game with a more linear story and dungeons? I don't actually think it's that polarized, if I'm being honest. Um, because Arlo here, I don't think he represents a radical extreme when it comes to Nintendo games and Zelda games. I think he... He, he, if he's saying it, it's a reasonable, normal position that people have, you know? Um, am I taking recommendations for this? I am getting the videos from Discord, uh, from the Discord-only members uh, group. But if you have a recommendation and I, you know, run out of things to to talk about, then we'll, we'll do that. Anuma didn't direct Ocarina. I'm pretty sure he did. Let me look it up, though. Ocarina of Time. So it looks like it has six directors, but Eiji Anuma is among the directors that is listed. So I'm not sure why they had six directors, um, but he's in there. Hello, Phantom. So I don't think this is a this is a radical position. My my evidence is that Arlo is talking about um, uh, talking about it. He doesn't seem like the type of guy that goes out and and finds the most fringe opinions on the internet and promotes them. He seems like he's 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 he would be discussing what norm what's normal for um, for Zelda. So. The way that I see the community right now is that even Breath of the Wild people have have turned on Tears of the Kingdom. There's things about Breath of Breath of the Wild fans don't like Tears of the Kingdom in the way that they liked Breath of the Wild. They think it's missing something. Um, they don't like that Tears of the Kingdom didn't seem to continue the continuity of Breath of the Wild. That it uh, that, well, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. But most importantly, I don't think anybody, even pro Breath of the Wild fans, and even pro Tears of the Kingdom fans are that against a more linearly told story and linear dungeons, if we kept everything else the same. You know, they don't like the dungeons either. Tears of the Kingdom, Arlo on the podcast, when I emailed him, all right, I emailed him, I did, I did all I can. <laughs> I sent him an email, I didn't get a response. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's normal. Why, why would he? Um, So yeah, look, Tears of the Kingdom people, even they are pro dungeon. So this isn't this isn't a big division. We're just upset a little that Anuma said uh, said that the reason the, you know he's surprised that people want to go back to a more restricted game, and that it must be nostalgia. We're a little offended. You know, we hear that and we're a little hurt. <laughs> Our feelings are hurt that he would say that because he helped make Zelda what it was. He was the director for for Ocarina of Time. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Honestly, a game where he plays Zelda saving Link would be kind of cool, but more, but in a more way, we know exactly. Uh, I don't, I don't really like the idea of Zel of playing a Zelda. I don't see the point. The reason that they haven't done it before is something that Onuma has said, and he's like, well, what, what's the difference? Like, what would, what, what would she do that's different than what Link would do? Um, and if you, if we can't come up with a good reason why we should implement her, we're not just going to implement her because a bunch of fans want her is, is basically the sense that I got from his previous interviews. And I agree. Just, it's, it seems to me like it's just a bunch of fan clamor. Um, a lot of people disagreed with me. They think that playable Zelda would be cool, but, um, you, you, you need a reason. You have to have a good reason and she has to do something distinct from Link. And they're not going to replace Link. I surely hope they're not going to replace Link. So she would need to be somewhere along the lines of um, Spirit Track Zelda. That that I would be okay with, where she has her own playable section uh, and does very distinct things from what Link does. I thought that she was going to be playable in Tears of the Kingdom early on because you saw her falling down and you saw that there was the depths. I thought maybe she would play in the depths and Link would play in the central Hyrule. Uh, okay, this guy says, Games themselves aren't defined by restrictions 
on a game specifically, just so saying a sweeping games have restrictions is in inherently false as games have whatever freedoms and restrictions the rule makers and then later the player wish to impose on him. Okay. Um, yeah, games have restrictions. There's no getting around that. This is not whatever point is being tried to be made here doesn't doesn't get games inherently have restrictions. That's what makes them games. They have rules. Uh, there's nothing there's nothing that he could be saying here that I don't understand that could get around that. That's a simple fact. Why is this so difficult? The debate has the easiest solution. Just reduce the number of shrines from 150 insane, by the way, to like 75, and then use that dev time to build mid-sized traditional dungeons complete with unique theme, small keys, puzzles, maps, unique items, and a unique boss. And hide those well throughout the world in the caves and dungeons. That's literally it. <laughs> those medium dungeons will make every single traditional fan happy. Everything else can stay the same, including the open world freedom aspect. It's like he watched, this is like word for word what I've said in previous videos. In like months before Tears of the Kingdom came out, this is what I was saying. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I want. Hello, Georgie. Nostalgia is a real phenomenon. Not really sure what the, what the argument is here. If you enjoyed something as a child, then you have positive memories of it from a time in your life when you were most impressionable. Therefore, you're going to enjoy it even more as an adult. That's not necessarily true. That's not true at all. People all the time like something as a child. They mature. They become an adult. They try the thing that they liked as a child and they realize, oh, this isn't that good. You know, this isn't that good. Have you guys never been embarrassed? Like you've tried to show a friend an old video game or an old movie or an old book and you think that in your memories it's really great and then you show it to your friend and they li don't like it and then when you look at it, you're deeply embarrassed because it's trash. Because it was awful. Um, so that's not necessarily true. It's not the only factor, but it's certainly one of them. Okay, we're going to... I'm probably going to clip this specific thing to talk about nostalgia. To talk about the nostalgia argument. Because I don't I don't know how much how much more clearly I can say what I'm about to say, but let me let me set it down in stone. Yes, nostalgia happens. It's a real phenomenon, as I've mentioned many times. But you can't prove you can't use nostalgia in an argument because you can't prove that any individual case of me saying something is good is because of nostalgia or not. You can't prove that. It's not something you can use in an argument. Whether or not I'm nostalgic for something and it heightens my enjoyment of something, that, that could be the case, but you can't prove it. You don't have the, um, the ability to look into my mind and know that that's what's happening in this situation. And you can show that you, you don't need nostalgia to appreciate good old games. For example, in the example that I used in this video, I talked about somebody in my Discord that played Major um, Ocarina of Time for the first time and enjoyed Ocarina of Time for the first time. And he said, having played only Breath of the Wild before that, he said, I see what they mean about the dungeons. These dungeons are great, and the and these and the dungeons and tears of the kingdom and Breath of the Wild are bad in comparison. Alright, so there's no nostalgia going on here. There's a speedrunner that I had on my podcast that played Breath of the Wild first and Tears of the Kingdom. And he has like a two hour long critique of of Tears of the Kingdom. Hang on, let me let me go see if I can find this thing. Uh, you know, it's it's not important. The point is, you don't need nostalgia to like Ocarina of Time. <laughs> yes, Limcube. Thank you, thank you, Wiz. I just wanted his name. Um, yeah, he's got a whole thing, and all of his points that Limcube uses in his video talking about what he dislikes about Tears of the Kingdom is everything I've said. We haven't even talked since our last podcast. We haven't discussed this at all. Every single thing that he said is stuff that I've said before. All right. This isn't a nostalgia thing. You can't use nostalgia in an argument because it's an unbeatable argument. What am I going to do with that? I say, oh, I like this old thing. I think these are the reasons why this old thing is good. And I list out the reasons. I list out the arguments in favor of those reasons. And then you say, oh, we're just nostalgic. Well, what am I going to say to that? There's no counter to that because it's stupid. <laughs> it's a stupid argument. You can't prove that any one of the things I've said has to do with nostalgia. You have to engage my argument by what I said, not because you think I'm nostalgic. You can still think it in your head. Keep it to yourself. It's not an argument. Uh, it's, not a, it's not the kind of thing you can use in an argument, is my point. So now you do know what the argument is here. I've said it many times, hopefully this time. I'll probably like have this as a separate section just so people know. 
I agreed, but I do think nostalgia blindness exists. It doesn't matter. You can't use it in an argument. I already said that nostalgia is a real thing. You have to address the arguments I'm actually using. It's even worse when people use that argument when debating games that came out five, two to five years ago. Nostalgia takes way longer than that to form. Um, and then there's recency bias. Why can you talk about nostalgia and I say, and I can't talk about recency bias? Okay, you say that you like Tears of the Kingdom more. Well, I say you're, you're filled with recency bias. W what does that mean? It doesn't matter what it means. It doesn't matter that's a real thing that happens to people. That can't use that in an argument. <laughs> I can't use that as evidence. <laughs> because I can't prove that that's what's going on. It's that, and that's not necessarily what's going on there. Uh, I love your videos, but please don't go the Asmongold react hole. What I mean is your title and thumbnails are identical to the videos you're reacting to. And in this case, the video is in, even linked in the description. Uh, I did. That's true, but I did link it later. Uh, so it is, it is there now. So, yeah, but, um, I am going down the Asmongold react hole. I don't think there's anything wrong with using the title and the thumbnail of the video that I'm reacting to. I'm using the title of the video that I'm reacting to. First of all, these are streams. These are clips of streams. Um, and I'm putting Ratatoska reacts at the end. I don't know what more you want. There's a little picture of me. This is the thumbnail used in the video, so you know what video it is. The video is linked in the description. The name of the video is on the thing. <laughs> um... This is only the second time I've done this, so I forgot to put it, but I linked it later. I also doubled the length of the original thing that, um, it's not like you just, uh, watch it. Well, it's like, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong here. Um, and these are not like, you want me to use a different thumbnail? You want me to craft another thumbnail? I'm not going to do that. I'd rather just not clip these. I'm not making any money off of these, by the way. Uh, this is just for people that like my streams. Because I've been asked for stuff like this before. This is for people that like my streams and want to watch uh, the the highlighted sections, the sections that I think are interesting. And so I'm either clipping them into small clips or I'm just reacting to the entire video so they have context. Crafting a well-made thumbnail content. Yeah, so I would rather just not do this. So if you want me to not do this, it's very easy. Keep bothering me about it and eventually I'll get annoyed and just delete them and then not do it because I'm very like, I'm not making money off of this. Uh, so this is this is for people that want it here. <laughs> the clips are great. Thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it's normal for creative people to focus on one of their works of art and try to forget about the other ones. Or perhaps he thinks that he and his team is improving over time. So the latest thing that he did is, is yeah. Okay. Yeah. I do think this happens. And I think that artists should be careful of this mindset. Um, and Miyazaki is a great example. For example, I'm pretty sure I've heard before in an interview that Onuma is embarrassed of Majora's Mask. People love Majora's Mask. People think Majora's Mask is the best thing ever, but Onuma doesn't. He doesn't think it's that good. He doesn't like it. Um, the same thing happens with Miyazaki. Miyazaki doesn't like Demon Souls. He thinks it's cringy. I think he compared it to a high schooler that writes something that he thinks is meaningful and deep in a notebook. And then you come back to it as an adult and you read, you read to the cringy scribbles of your teenage self. And then you realize, ew, <laughs> that's so cringe. I don't even want to look at it. Uh, and he feels the same way about Demon Souls, even though I think Demon Souls is one of his best works. And it's, it's beloved by the people that like it. The people that like it think it's better than Dark Souls. It's better than Elden Ring. The people that really like Demon Souls think that, you know, Miyazaki lost his way. Matthew Matosis has a whole video about how Demon Souls was intelligent, great. And all these other Dark Souls are just like push circle button to dodge and win. And that's that's his opinion of, of it. Um, uh, but he also has humility. He knows that that's how he feels about it. Beca and so he's like, I'm not going to remake Demon Souls because I would end up changing things. And that's people like Demon Souls. I shouldn't do that. He actively says, I shouldn't do that. That's the kind of humility that I want for my artists. The, the, the humility to be like, I'm not the guy I was 20 years ago. That was a different person. He made a different work of art. And I shouldn't mess with that guy's art because there's people in there that think that that art's the best thing in the world. 
I shouldn't go in there and tinker with it because I'm not that guy. I may not have the tools or the talent to, 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 um, to recreate it or make a remake of it or, or do anything. That was actually the reason why he said he wasn't going to make a remake of it. That's it's, it's respectful. It's the humility of understanding that you're a human being. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. I really think it's, it's a wonderful position to have. I wish more people had that. I wish I knew my head that when, when they were, um, doing the uh, Majora's Mask remake. Oh, this is from a different video. I think a mistake that Tosker makes is that because Westerners didn't like it, that it wasn't made with them in mind. In this case, I'm talking about the handler. In, I mean, world handler looks like your average women go to rise twins that could be top models. Okay. Um, so this is a video where the guy was talking about Monster Hunter World and Rise, and it was an anti-world video, basically. And he was making the case that there are Western design elements that were introduced to Monster Hunter World, and then there were natural evolution changes that were evolutions of the series. And it seemed to me that he was putting everything that he liked into the natural evolution changes, and everything that he disliked into the Western uh Western development changes. Um, and he didn't provide any evidence for why one was in one group and the other was in the other group. So I don't agree with him. So what, what he said right here, why is he asking me this? I think a mistake Reddit Husker make is that because Westerners didn't like it, that it wasn't made for them in mind. Okay, but where's the evidence that it was made for them in mind? Where's the evidence? Jean Gruga says, he said that realistic monster movement is a Western design change. Yeah. Yeah. He said realistic monster movement was a Western design change. When I, I showed you guys in that other video, the, the thing from Monster Illustrations 1, from the very first Monster Hunter game, Monster Hunter 1, that that was a priority. That's something that they were always trying to do. From day one, game one, that's what they wanted to do. <laughs> this is something they talked about, you know, I don't know how long ago. When did Monster Hunter 1 come out? 2001? 20 years ago? He's not saying that you were wrong. He's saying that particular argument is faulty. It can't be faulty. <laughs> Why can it be faulty? Because I'm just saying that he has no evidence for that. <laughs> 2004? Okay. I'm not making a mistake because I didn't say that she wasn't made for Western audiences' mind. What I said was, here, he's talking about the handler. He's making a claim. He's making a claim that the handler was made to appease Western audience. And then I'm like, wait a minute, the Western audiences didn't like the handler. So what's your evidence that the handler was, was made for Western audiences? You know, you could maybe use the fact that the Westerners liked it as evidence. It's weak evidence, but you could use it, but that doesn't exist. Westerners don't like the handler. So why do you think that? You can't say, oh, well, you don't have any evidence, Red Tusker. I don't need evidence. <laughs> I don't need evidence. He has to provide the evidence in his video for the claims that he's making. I don't have to provide claim, uh, evidence for my doubts of his claims. I just need to point out, you don't have any evidence there. <laughs> and when I do have evidence, I present it. Like when I, when I talked about how the monster movements being realistic is not a Western design change. It's a natural evolution change because that's what they were trying to do from day one. Yes, Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild are missing some things, but none of those things they're missing are found in any of the other 3D Zelda. Oh, I don't, I don't agree. Skyward Sword is hot garbage. And the things that the last two games did do from the other 3D games are detriments to the new games. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have the things that the old ones had. It doesn't have dungeons and it doesn't have a good story, <laughs> which is what I've been complaining about. That's ridiculous. All right, let's read this. Holy shit, it's the same guy. Honestly, I like the twins. I find Minoto being a terrible artist to be charming. She's not a terrible artist. She's a good artist. <laughs> Actually, I like the twins too, kind of. First of all, they're very pretty. So it's very difficult to just outright hate the twins because they're like, the most attractive uh, female companions that Monster Hunter has ever had. Um, but I like how she paints her sister. She likes her sister a lot and she thinks her sister's great. Um, and she paints her sister as being super attractive and she paints herself uh, as being like a little chibi, ugly thing. 
So she's got some personality, but I don't, I, I'm, you can't blame Nostalgia. I played Rise before I played For You, but the handler uh, in For You is way better. She's way, the guild marm is so good. She's so great. <laughs> Hello, Biat. All right, let's read this comment. There's a big reason why so many people keep telling you about the new games being actual classic Zelda, because they're fucking right. Go play the first game or shut up about it. No other Zelda game plays quite like the first one until Breath of the Wild came out. You can essentially go right to Ganon and fight him whenever you want. You could go to any dungeon at any time except for level four because you need a staff to get to it. You can go to almost any screen at any time. You're not really restricted at all. The game doesn't block off big sections of the map behind linear progression. It doesn't have any stupid companions nagging you and telling you what to do. Holy shit. It never stops the action. It has essentially no story. So this is what you this is what you want, huh? This is what you want about the game. <laughs> Just no story. Just go back right to the boss, wander around. Okay. And in my opinion, the flaws with the last two stem directly from being expired not being expired by the OG enough. Blah 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 blah. Mini dungeons, doesn't like the mini dungeons. Okay. I don't care how long Zelda has been Ocarina clones. That doesn't make that style of game classic. Yes, it does. But we'll, we'll get back to that. And you fit, and if you think it's like talking to a robot, hearing people say that over and over again, imagine how it feels to be a fan of actual classic Zelda and repeat, repeatedly hearing Ocarina fanboys crying about the new Zelda games while lamenting about the loss of classic Zelda when classic Zelda died in 1998. Imagine how it would feel to see one of your favorite franchises be turned into something completely different for 20 years, and when it finally comes back, all these crybabies are shitting all over it because it dared to deviate from the shitty copy-paste formula that ran the series into the ground. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay. Shut up, old man. Be quiet. Shut up, old man. <laughs> That's my first point. Get back to the nursing hold old fella you're gonna you're gonna sprain something if you keep if you keep this up all right here's my point when it came to the the classic zelda fan thing it sounds robotic because these people come into my comment sections and i will criticize breath of the wild or I, not even me really uh people will criticize breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom and say that they are too much of a deviation from classic Zelda games. And what most people mean when they say classic Zelda games is Ocarina of Time and A Link to the Past. That's what they mean with classic Zelda. All right. Basically, Ocarina of Time and the games like it. That's what they mean. Why? Because it was that for 20 years. OK, if Ocarina of Time is not classic for being 20 years ago, that's a sign that you are an old man. That's a sign that you're being ancient. <laughs> And so ancient, I don't think we should take you seriously. So their point is that, okay, Breath of the Wild is like um, the original Zelda. I ne I've never disputed this. What I have disputed is that they have this copy-paste kind of way of saying that. Like they just came up with it on the spot. It's, it's, a very, it's, it's, an, it's annoying. So they keep saying it. But that has nothing to do with my argument. When I say, you know, people dislike Breath of the Wild because it's too much of a deviation from Ocarina of Time, from Classic Zelda. They know what I mean when I say Classic Zelda. They know what everyone means when they say Classic Zelda. And they're over here upset, objecting to my terminology. They're not arguing with what I'm saying. They're objecting to my terminology. They don't like that Ocarina of Time that came out, like, maybe it's 30 years ago now at this point. Is it 30? No, it's getting there. It's close. <laughs> Over 20, uh, over 20 years ago, um, it's repeated phrasing with no argument behind it. Yeah, they're objecting to my to the fact that I don't consider um, Breath of the Wild classic Zelda because it deviates from what I consider classic Zelda, which is Zelda Ocarina of Time and the things like it. So what, what you're talking about, fine, you can say, hey, this is very similar to the original Zelda and that's very cool, fine. But I'm not going to stop calling Ocarina of Time Classic Zelda. That game is old as hell. And if that's not old enough for you to think it's classic, then you're just too old to talk about this. <laughs> See, here we go. Debating what's real Zelda is a worthless discussion. There we go. 
I'm trying to just differentiate between Breath of the Wild and the games that came before. And every time I do that, people come at me with, oh, it's not real classic Zelda, real classic Zelda, Zelda 1. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, old man! You've said that already. I'm not going to change the terminology because you've said that. <laughs> because nobody else says that, other than the very small number of people that played Zelda 1. I'm not doing it. 